Unaware that Dr. Tobor is in league with the dictator, Valtura, Captain Video and the Ranger race toward Atoma in their space rocket to save the famous scientist. in the auxiliary impulse jets. What can we do? Our only chance is to flash between them before they meet. We can't safely change course at this speed. Uh, give them greater speed. Quick, into the safety compartment. Helmet on quick. What do we need it in here for? It neutralizes the atmospheric pressure density in this cabin. We're falling. I've released the safety compartment from the ship. But without any power control, we might stay adrift up here forever. We're under the influence of gravitational pull from some planet. That's why we're falling. Could it be that strange planet, Atoma? After what's happened, I doubt if we'll ever find Atoma. Or Dr. Tobor. My scientific genius has destroyed Captain Video, as I told you it would. Yes, it's fortunate for me that I fled from Earth to join you here. You can repay me for saving you by going to the planet Theros and taking charge of my new control room there. Well, is that safe? I thought you were at war with Theros. Oh, it's hardly a war. My soldiers are liberating the people there, bringing them under my control. They're no match for my armed forces. Well, of course, just as you say. I will tell you what I want done and arrange for your transportation. Come. Altitude, 17,000 feet. 14,000. 11. 9. At this rate, we'll crack up. I'll cut in the gravity check. Grab hold of the hand brace. It'll neutralize the landing shock. We've landed. Don't take that off. Wait until I've checked the outside atmospheric content. Remember, we're on a strange planet. It has air, hasn't it? I hope so. But there may not be oxygen enough to sustain life. The atmospheric content is almost identical to that of Earth. landed on some satellite planet. A dead world. There's some grass and scrub growth over there. It's possible we'll find other form of life here. I'm beginning to think we've got this place all to ourselves. Not quite. planet is inhabited. And by humans. Hello! Hello! Ranger, wait! not of Theros. Who are you? We are from the planet Earth. Our intentions were peaceful until your friends here attacked us. They were our captors. Then why didn't you help us? We know nothing of fighting. You could have run. Run where? Vulture's soldiers would find us. Already his forces are invading Theros. His warning to us is written in the sky. 
the symbol of Vultura's might. There is no escaping the Red Doom. Well, who's this Vultura? Dictator of the mobile planet Atoma. He claims to be our protector. But we know he means to conquer the entire solar system. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Have you made any attempt to fight for yourselves? Theros is a peaceful planet. We have no weapons of war. What is Voltaire's excuse for attacking you? He has none. But after his first soldiers landed, some of our young men stoned him. Then Voltura declared us aggressor and ordered his so-called uh, War of Liberation. Familiar trick of the dictators. If we could find weapons, would you fight for your freedom? Try it. Where could we find more of Voltura's troops, or perhaps a supply base? There is one two shadows lengths from here. We were being taken there. As far as that, a journey of 51 minutes in your time. We'll go there. But first, the ranger and I will borrow a couple of uniforms. located just around this bend. Beyond this room along the passage, the control room. No one is allowed in there. The ranger and I have just granted ourselves special permission. Trouble in zone K, the guard room. We'll take the shortcut. Forcing his guards attack us. Search the passages. Dr. Tobor. Captain Video, why are you here? To rescue you, of course. Oh, you shouldn't have come. This, this place is heavily guarded. Well, these disguises got us in. They'll help get you out. Oh, it's too risky. Suppose we're challenged. Don't you want to be rescued? Well, yes, of 
course, but, uh, but the risk. We'll take you out as our prisoner. Then we'll radio Ranger headquarters for a rescue ship to pick us up. Ready, Doctor? Yes. Dr. Tober's sending that signal. He's in trouble. It's beamed from Sector 11. That's two shadow links southeast of here. Send a scouting party over there from Zone W and hurry. We're being followed. Cut through the rocks and try to lose them. The doctor now head for the landing compartment. safety compartment. Certainly is an ingenious device. Too bad it lacks power propulsion. Doesn't lack communication. Will that instrument get a message through to Earth? We'll soon find out. It transmits sonic waves over a split frequency. You can make it a lot easier on yourself if you'll tell us where Captain Video has taken Dr. Tobar. I'll tell you nothing. Since your lips refuse to speak, your mind will do it for us. Apply the electronic mind reader. I recognize that area. It lies beyond the rocks, two shadow lengths south of here. Dispatch an armed party at once. You worried about your interplanetary message getting through? I'm more worried about the Ranger. He should have been back long ago. I'm going out to look for him. Wait here, Doctor. As you wish. Pressure gun. You saved my life. The boy's life we cannot save. What do you mean? Where is he? A prisoner in the underground control room. Be patient. Your good friend the captain will soon join you. Back to Dr. Tobor. Attention, Captain Video. Voltura speaks. Where'd that come from? Interplanetary radio. There. You have plotted to turn the people of Theros against me. But I cannot conquer. I destroy. I have already unleashed a concentrated shower of cosmic waste squarely at your position. Listen. Dr. Tobor to pay so quickly for his treachery, what strange creatures are to invade the Earth? 
Don't fail to see Captain Video's Peril, the third exciting chapter of Captain Video at this theater next week.